Hello everyone, I am K. Devavani, Assistant Professor of Microbiology, working in Government Degree College for Women, Algunda. In this video, I am going to explain the topic complement system. The contents include introduction, general properties, components of complement, complement activation by classical pathway, alternative pathway and lectin pathway and the biological effects of complement. So let me explain the first one that is the introduction. First, what is a complement? Complement, it refers to a group of serum proteins and they are present in the inactive precursors which are activated by antigen antibody interaction and subsequently mediate a number of biologically important functions. Complement proteins are generally present in the inactive form in the serum but they are activated by an antigen antibody complexes. After activation, the complement mediates a number of biologically important functions. The research on complement began in 1889 by Buchner. He observed that the bactericidal effect of a serum was destroyed by heating at 55 degrees centigrade for one hour. Serum has a bactericidal effect. Bactericidal means killing of the microorganisms. So what he observed means he observed that the killing effect was destroyed by heating the serum at 55 degrees centigrade for 1 hour. In 1895, Bordet, he established that the immune bacteriolysis, it requires two factors, one is a heat stable antibody and heat label factor. Bordet established that the lysis of bacteria, the killing of bacteria by serum, it requires two factors. One is a heat stable that means that is a resistant to the heat, the heat stable antibody. Another one is a heat label factor which is sensitive and get inactivated by heating that is called a heat label factor. That heat label factor was named as a alexin. Later, this alexin term was replaced by complement by Paul Ehrlich. Complement is a cascade system. It means the sequential binding events that follows in which the pathogen is coated by the complement proteins and eliminate the pathogen. It is a sequence of events that coat on the microorganism that finally lies the microorganism. Here such cascade reactions other than complement system include the blood coagulation system, fibrinolytic system and kinin systems. These are all the cascade reactions present in the biological systems. The advantage of cascade reactions here is the enzymes present in the cascade, they activate the many molecules of the coming and succeeding components and provide amplification at each step and every step has its own control mechanisms. Now move on to the general properties of complement. Complement is present in the sera of all mammals and animals including birds, amphibians and fish. It is non-specific that is why it comes under the innate immunity. Non-specific here means the complement from one species it can react with the antibodies from other species. The concentration is 5 to 10 percent in the serum and it is not increased as a result of immunization by means of vaccines. Some of the components of the complement are heat stable but on the total the complement is sensitive to the heat which can be inactivated at 56 degree centigrade for about half an hour. That inactivated complement present in the serum is called as inactivated serum.
complement does not bind to free antigens or free antibodies it binds only to the antibodies that are already combined with the antigens complement cannot bind free antibodies and antigens but it can bind only to the antibodies that are already bound to the antigens all classes of immunoglobulins do not fix complement only igm and igg fix the complement that site of complement binding is located on the fc portion of immunoglobulin the site of binding of complement is located on the fc portion of the immunoglobulin molecule fc means the fragment of crystallizable or complement binding region present in the immunoglobulin which is at the carboxy terminal end of the heavy chains fixation of complement is not influenced by the nature of antigens but only by the class of immunoglobulins once again the properties it is non specific this complement from one species can react with the antibodies from other species it is about 5 to 10% in the normal serum protein and it is not increased as a result of immunization and it is inactivated by heating at 56 degree centigrade for about 30 minutes then that serum is called as inactivated serum complement does not bind to free antigens or antibodies it binds to the antibodies that are already combined with the antigens all classes of immunoglobulin do not fix the complement only igm and igg can bind the complement the site of complement binding is located on the fc piece of the immunoglobulin molecule the fixation of complement is not influenced by the antigens but by the immunoglobulin class now the components of complement complement it consists of 30 chemically and immunologically distinct serum proteins chemically and immunologically distinct serum proteins propadin system and cell membrane receptors these serum proteins are synthesized by liver and circulate in blood as inactive precursors the biological activities of this complement system affect both innate and acquired immunity it is a part of innate system because it is non specific which is not adaptable which does not change during lifetime of the individual but the complement system is brought into action by the antibodies which are generated by the acquired immune system so it becomes a part of both innate and adaptive immune system complement is a complex of nine different fractions they are named from c1 to c9 fraction c1 occurs in the serum as calcium ion dependent complex and it again consists of three protein subunits they are c1q c1r and c1s complement fractions are named from c1 to c9 in a sequence of the cascading reaction except c4 except c4 that comes after c1 when the complement components acquires the enzymic activity if they are activated that is indicated by a bar on the component number if the c1 is the complement component that is get activated then that is indicated by a bar on its number the inactivated forms of complement components are indicated by 
prefix if the complement component that is c3b if it is present in the inactive form that is indicated in the form of inactive i i refers to inactive c3b component the complement components are classified into seven categories based on function the components of complement are classified into seven categories based on function the first one is initiator complement components means these are the proteins that initiate the complement cascade by binding to a soluble immune complexes or the membrane bound molecules these are the initiator proteins that initiate the cascade system examples are c1 q the second one is enzymatic mediators these include the proteins that are having the enzymic activity that is proteolytic activity they cleave the proteins and they activate the other members of the complement components they cleave the proteins and activate the other members of the complement proteins example c1r c1s third one is membrane binding components these include the proteins that upon activation the proteins are cleaved into two fragments the complement components after activation they are cleaved into two fragments one is larger fragment another one is a smaller fragment larger fragments are named named with the suffix b smaller fragments are labeled with the suffix a remember that upon the activation of the complement proteins the proteins are cleaved into two fragments one is a larger fragment another one is a smaller fragment larger fragment is labeled with the suffix b and the smaller fragment is labeled with the suffix a except for c2 component where the larger fragment is named as c2 a and the smaller fragment is c2 b fourth one is inflammatory mediators the small fragments that are generated by the cleavage of the proteins they act as inflammatory mediators small fragments which are suffixed with a a they act as inflammatory mediators examples c3a c5a c4a all these are inflammatory mediators these mediators they increase the capillary diameter and attract the other cells to the site of damage that's why these are also called as anaphylotoxins these are also called as anaphylotoxins next one is a membrane attack complex mac means membrane attack complex complement components include the proteins that insert into the cell membranes of the microorganisms and make the holes in the membranes of the organisms examples for such proteins that make the holes in the microorganisms are c5b c6 c7 c8 and c9 sixth one is complement receptor proteins complement receptor proteins means receptor molecules present on the cells they bind to the complement proteins means the complement proteins they bind to the receptors which are present on the cell surfaces and they signal the 
cell specific functions the complement receptor proteins are named as cr1 that means complement receptor 1 cr2 the seventh one is regulatory components these are the proteins that have the control mechanism that have the regulation and they help the host cells to be protected from the complemented mediated lysis examples for such regulatory components are factor 1 and protectin first one is a initiator complement components the second one is enzyme mediators and the third one is membrane binding components fourth one is inflammatory mediators and fifth one is membrane attack complex and the sixth one is complement receptor proteins and the seventh one is regulatory components these are all the seven categories of different components of complement based on their function next one is a complement activation complement activity is a induced by antigen antibody complex and other stimuli other stimuli such as dna c reactive protein trypsin like enzymes and retroviruses complement activity is induced by antigen antibody complexes and other stimuli such as dna c reactive protein trypsin like enzymes and rv retroviruses the complement components they react in a specific sequence as a cascade means here the preceding component act as an enzyme on the succeeding component and break them into two unequal fragments the larger fragments l and s fragments will be generated larger and smaller the larger fragments generally they join the cascade pathway the smaller fragments are released in the form of anaphylotaxins and they mediate uh, effector mechanisms the effector mechanisms mediated by the smaller fragments include the lysis of cells and bacteria and promote virus neutralization opsonization immune clearance immune clearance is the removal of immune complexes from the circulation and deposited in the liver and spleen for the removal the smaller fragments they increase the inflammation so these are the effector mechanisms mediated by the smaller fragments of the complement component proteins that are produced by cleavage of proteins the complement is activated and it shows three major pathways and these three pathways are classical pathway alternative pathway lectin pathway these three pathways are independent mechanisms they differ only in the initial steps until c3 activation occurs once the c3 activation occurs the remaining steps are common to all these pathways the classical pathway classical pathway it is recently evolved mechanism of a specific immune system complement is a part of innate immunity but here it becomes a part of specific active immunity because it complement components are activated only by the antigen antibody complexes the steps include here in this classical pathway is a binding of c1 to antigen antibody complex this is a c1 complex this 
need to bind antigen and antibody complex. Antigen antibody complexes are formed when the antibody binds to the epitopes present on the virus, fungi, parasites or the bacteria. Antigen antibody complexes are formed binding to the epitopes present on the viruses, fungi, parasites and bacterial cell membranes. The soluble antigen antibody complexes are referred as immune complexes. Immune complexes these are formed by the antibodies either IgM or IgG. IgM or IgG are capable of activating the complement. Initial activation involves C1, C2, C3 and C4 which are present as a gymosins. Gymosins inactive precursors activated only by the proteolytic cleavage by the other proteins. Antigen antibody complex induce the conformational change in the FC portion of antibody. This change it exposes the binding site for the C1 component of the complement. Effective activation occurs only when C1Q is attached to immunoglobulins. Here the C1 contains one molecule of C1Q, two molecules of serine proteases, C1R, C1S and contain calcium ion stabilized complex. C1 is in the form of a complex which contains one molecule of C1Q, two molecules of serine protease, C1R and C1S in the calcium ion stabilized complex. The antigen antibody complex induce the Conformational change at the FC portion of the immunoglobulin that exposes the binding site for the C1 component. So, the C1Q attaches to this antigen antibody complex. One molecule of IgM and two molecules of IgG initiate the process. To initiate the complement activation, one molecule of IgM and two molecules of IgG are required. IgM exists in the form of pentameric form. IgG is a monomer. So, one molecule of IgM and two molecules of IgG are able to activate the complement in the classical pathway. The C1Q binding in the presence of calcium ions, it leads to the activation of C1R and C1S. The binding of C1Q to the antigen antibody complex, it activates the C1R and C1S components. This C1S is a, now an activated form, it is, a, is an esterase, C1S is a esterase. It has two substrates, it can bind to two substrates that is C4 and C2. First the C4 is activated, C1S esterase, now it cleaves the several molecules of C4, antigen, antibody, C1Q followed by C1R and C1S, C1S is an esterase, C1S is an esterase. It cleaves the C4 into two fragments C4A and C4B. Here C4A is a smaller fragment and that is released in the form of an anaphylotoxin and C4B it binds to the cell membrane along with the C1S. Binding of C4B activates the C2 
and it cleaves the C2 into two fragments C2A and C2B. C2B here it is a diffused away and C2A binds to this cascade C1 4B C2A this is a called as a C3 convertase 4B 2A this is called as a C3 convertase C2 A and C4 B fragments they C3 convertase. This converts C3 into active form. It hydrolyzes the C3 and generate two unequal fragments C3 A and C3 B. C3 A is a smaller fragment and it is released in the form of an aflatoxin and C3 B is a larger fragment it binds to the C cascade C4 B 2A 3B this is called C5 convertase C3 hydrolysis occurs C3 B and C3 A C3 B Again, it cleaves the C5 into C5A and C5B. This C5 convertase, it cleaves C5 into C5A and C5B. C5A is uh, released in the form of anaphylotaxin and C5B, it binds to the cascade. From here, the membrane attack complex will begin. Membrane attack complex will begin by joining C5B6 and 7. Complement protein 6 and 7, they join to this cascade. It forms C5B67 and it prepares this prepares the cell membrane for the lysis by C8 and C9. They join subsequently and all these proteins are assembled on the cell surface, microorganism surface and that leads to the lysis of the cell. This is called as complement mediated lysis. Complement mediated lysis. Complement mediated lysis, it leads to the production of holes in the cell membrane. All these complement proteins leads to the production of holes nearly approximately 100 angstrom units. From these holes, the cell contents will be released outside and finally leads to the death of the organism. Again, the formation of antigen antibody complex induces the conformational change in the FC part of the immunoglobulin that exposes the binding site for C1 component of complement. C1 has a one molecule of C1Q, C1R and C1S and two molecules of serine protease all are stabilized in a calcium ion complex. The binding of antigen and antibody to the C1Q in the presence of calcium ion that leads to the activation of C1 R and S. Antigen antibody complex C1Q and C1 R and C1 S. This splits the C4 into C4 A, C4 B. C4 B binds to the cascade and C4A is released in the form of anaphylotaxin and this again the C4B cleaves the C2 into C2A and C2B. Here the C2B is released in the form of anaphylotaxin and C2A binds the cascade. So the cascade here is a represented C4B and 2A. This is called as a C3 convertase. This converts the 
C3 into C3A and C3B fragments. The C3A is released in the form of anaphylotaxin and C3B joins the cascade. The C3B 4B, 2A, 3B. This is called as a C5 convertase and this cleaves the C5 into C5A and C5B. C5A is released and C5B joins the cascade. The membrane attack complex here will begin by joining 6 and 7. It prepares the cell membrane for the lysis by 8 and 9. All these complement proteins are <coughs> assembled on the surface of the cell membrane and lyse the microorganism. This is called as a complement mediated lysis and produce the holes of approximately 100 angstrom units and finally leads to the death of a cell. C3 convertase. C3 convertase plays a key role in the pathways. A single molecule of C3 convertase generate nearly 200 molecules of C3B. C3B has many biological functions that C3B it binds to the microbial surfaces, C3B binds to the microorganisms and uh, serves as a tag for the phagocytes. This is uh, called as a opsonization. C3B can attach to the FC part of antibody. C3B can attach to the FC part of antibody and this triggers the immune complexes which are bound by the C3B are again subjected to phagocytosis or given to liver for destruction. Next is some molecules of C3B they bind to the cascade C4B 2A that is a classical pathway C4B 2A and it forms a C5 convertase. This C5 convertase again it leads to the lysis by joining forming a membrane attack complex C5, C6, C7, C8, C9 follows and finally responsible for the lysis. The inflammatory mediators produced here the C3A and C5A are generated which are the smaller fragments and they lead to the inflammation process pathway. Once C3 convertase is activated the remaining steps are same for the classical pathway, lectin pathway and alternative pathway. In the next video, I will explain the alternative and lectin pathways, the biological effects of complement. Thank you for watching this video.